Welcome! Today, let's take a look at using the Mellow Audio MIDI Commander in Reaper to control Helix Native. But this should really work with any MIDI device. I use Helix Native pretty exclusively in Reaper. I'm pretty happy with it for bass, guitars, and even vocals. Like most advanced plugins, there's a ton you can do. One of the things I do quite a bit is control effects while I'm playing. Before Helix, I used to use my pedal board into an amp and mic the amp. But well, you know, neighbors. But now that I'm doing all my guitar and bass work with the plugin, I need a way to control the effects while I'm recording or playing live, or even after I've recorded. I bought the Mellow Audio MIDI Commander. It's a well-built MIDI pedal board for about $150, and the expression pedal is about $80. But any expression pedal should work, though. The first step in setting up MIDI Commander is to add it as a MIDI device in Reaper. Go to Preferences, Audio, MIDI Devices, and enable TS MIDI 2.0. I always check my MIDI devices by looking at the RIA Control MIDI log window. I add a new track, then add the RIA Control MIDI plugin. I select TS MIDI device for the input. Then I press a button or move the expression pedal. You should see the MIDI control messages that Reaper sees. But note, you can't use MIDI Commander as an input device. You need an instrument, and then you use MIDI Commander to control the plugins on the track. So let's delete the RIA Control MIDI plugin and change the input to my DI. Now I add the Helix plugin on the track. Next, let's figure out what we want to control. For this demo, I'm going to control the volume and then turn the delay on and off. In Reaper, we want to record the MIDI control messages as envelopes. Then we can make adjustments to them even after tracking. Helix Native has pretty good MIDI support for this. So let's set up the expression pedal to control the volume first. First, select the volume block. Right click on the parameter you want to control. In this case, right click on position. This is the position of the expression pedal. Move over to Automation and select Knob 1. Now let's move over to the Track and Reaper. Click on the Envelopes button and select Helix Native Knob 1. Now we have to teach the envelope to respond to the MIDI signal from the MIDI Commander. Select the MIDI Learn button and move the expression pedal. You can test that things are configured correctly by moving the envelope in Reaper. The position parameter should change. If not, there's a configuration issue. However, you'll notice that the pedal won't move the position yet. For that, you need to change the automation mode. Right-click on the automation button and select Touch Record Fader Movements to Armed Tracks. Here's a big gotcha. This only works when you have the plugin window selected and active. If you bypass or click off the plugin, it won't respond. But once you select it, you can now see that moving the volume with the expression pedal changes the value. Now let's set up the bypass for the delay effect. Select the delay block, right click on the power button, automation bypass, then switch one. Add the envelope.
MIDI Learn Again. Now you can bypass the delay pedal in real time. So that's how you can set up MIDI Commander to control Helix Native and Reaper. Stay safe and have a great day.